Hey guys, Vertigo Electric here, and today I'm playing a game called Midnight Zoo. This is another Asylum Jam 2016 entry, and I I don't know what else to say for that, so let's just look at the tutorial. Let's try to figure out what exactly this is. Welcome to the tutorial. I am Mother Bird. Well, hello, Mother Bird. You need some, uh, some, uh, clear eyes. Anyway, mouse click to continue. To move around, use the WASD keys. Mouse to look around. To interact with objects, look at them and mouse click. It's that easy. To check up on a room, walk up to the, do to the door. Look at it so that the name of the room appears. Let's give it a try. Tutorial night. Oh, man. Oh, so it is a 3D game. I wasn't sure. Based on the screenshots and stuff, it... I don't know. So I'm going to pick that up and throw it. Oh. No? No sounds? Oh my... Oh, that's terrible. Can I pick up this plant? No. Alright. To check up on an animal, let's look at the door. Is this the door? Lily the Pigeon's room. Good. That counts as... Oh no, the light is flashing. Use the thermostat. What? Oh, that light. Use the thermostat. Mouse click to use the thermostat. It's just a, it's just a big square on the wall. How is that a thermostat? Pick up the water bottle at the bottom shelf. Well, I did that. Okay, now, yeah. Awesome. Now put it down. I, <laughs> okay. During the night, just keep checking the light. Uh, and keep checking on the animals. You're good to go. Okay, night complete, you have survived. Oh boy. So the description page says, uh, this game is about trying not to wake up, or to wake demon animals and doing whatever you have to to accomplish this. Mother Bird is a demon bird that needs you to take care of her kids while she is gone. Make sure they don't wake up or else you'll be murdered by her irresponsible children. And yes, the art is made in MS Paint. Okay. Oh boy. Hello, I see you came to help. I have a job for you if you're up for it. I'm leaving today. I need your, your help taking care of my kids. Just navigate through the rooms to check up on them. Make sure the red light at the end of the hall doesn't flash. If it does, use a thermostat to lower the temperature and make sure they don't wake up. So don't worry. You'll be fine. Take care. Night one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm, I just can't wait. Okay. Wait, where's the light? Oh, that was just the tutorial there. Ooh, we got some music. George the Giraffe, Lily the Pigeon. Some nice art there. That's an empty closet. Red's Room. That's the same picture, but sideways. Oh, boy. Mother Bird's Room. So... And I can't sprint. I don't have a sprint. I could jump for some reason. Well, the light's not flashing. I gotta keep checking on the rooms. Checking on the rooms. I'm just gonna click this just because. Checking on the rooms. Checking on the rooms. So all I have to do is do that. The light's flashing! Uh oh. Check on the rooms. Check on the rooms. Check on the rooms. Lower the temperature. Check on the rooms. This is... Is this it? Is this the game? This is what I'm doing? Can I put this in one of the rooms? I'm going to put this in, in the closet. Oh, nope, can't. I pro I, you know what? I'll just keep doing this. I'll just keep going back and forth. And I don't really want to look into the windows because I feel like that's asking for for a spook. I like the music though. Hopefully it's not stolen. I don't want to get blamed for that. I don't know why I keep checking the empty closet, but I figure it doesn't hurt. 
Well, it's four in the morning. We seem to be doing okay so far. Um, oh, it's flashing! It's flashing! But I just... I just clicked the thermostat. Uh-oh. Why does that say 12? Gotta check on them, check on them. I guess I don't need to walk over to where the light, uh, to where the light is. Doesn't seem to be... <laughs> this is surprisingly, um... Um... Let me rework. Oh. Jeez. I hate that sound. I don't, I don't, I don't care the, the context. That sound is just awful. Thank you for taking care of my kids. It's a busy week. I'll need you to babysit for four more days. Do I really need to do this four more times? I'll be sure to check in with you every day. Oh, thank you, Mother Bird. Hope you enjoy spending time with the kids. Oh, yeah, I love just walking back and forth down a hallway. Just letting you know, Lily isn't a heavy sleeper. Make sure to check on her more often. Also, our alarm clock is broken. It's normal if it goes off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for all your hard work. Night two. Am I really going to do this? Like, all the way through? Uh, pigeon's room, giraffe's room, red's room, mother's room. It doesn't say Lily's room anymore. It just says pigeon's room. Oh, never mind. Lily the pigeons. Okay. Well, I don't necessarily need to check on any of them more often than the, in the other because I... Oh, crap! No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Shut up, you stupid alarm. So what exactly happens when they wake up? Do I... Am I just... Do I just have a, an MS Paint animal thrown in my face with a loud sound? Is that... I feel like that's... That's what we're doing. Man, this is... Well, I'm not sure how to word my thoughts just there. I was going to com make a comparison of Five Nights at Freddy's because there's obvious, uh, you know, there's obvious similarities there. But um, at least th this, you walk around and check on stuff, even if it's very minimal. So I think what I I think what I should do is, uh, assuming I survive this night. Um, oh, it's flashing! Oh, it's flashing! Oh, it's flashing! Oh, it's flashing! Assuming I survive this night, I think the next night, tomorrow night, I'm going to just not. Play properly. Let's see what happens. Well, also assuming I'm playing properly now, I think next time I'm just going to turn the alarm clock on and just stand over here by the couch and see what happens. See if I get murdered by some irresponsible animal children. Not a very eventful game, to be honest with you. And it's 5 a.m., so you should get the uh, little, little you survive thing any moment now. Oh, there it is. Night complete. Oh, that's a horrible sound. You're a natural. I wish I was there having as much fun as you are. Oh, shut up. But life isn't fair sometimes. I have something to do this week. Sigh. Well, I left the closet door open and filled it with drinks. If you ever get, you know, thisserty. Actually, I'm kind of thisserty right now. I forgot to bring my water into the office. That's okay. 
Just plop a drink into his window. Wait. I thought it said if I got thizzardy. Anyway. If you ever need me, just let me know. Night three. So, clearly they're going to just add more and more, um, like, things you have to do. So, here, let's just give this... There you go. I'm not going to be responsible this time. I'm turning this on. I'm not going to touch that. And I'm just going to wait in the closet. And knock over the drinks. Oh, I, I could throw them, sort of. <laughs> oh, that sound is horrible.